Hi, I'm Danny Gasparini, and welcome to this segment of One on One. I'm joined by Colleen Haight, who is the past chairman and of the board of directors for um, Peninsula Volunteers. Hi, I'm Danny Gasparini, and welcome to this segment of One on One. I'm joined by Colleen Haight, who is the past chairman and of the board of directors for um, Peninsula Volunteers. Correct. Thanks, Colleen, for joining us. Thank you for having me, Danny. Um, so let's talk a little bit about Peninsula Volunteers. Um, what does the organization do? Well, our mission is to serve the elderly within our community. And if you think about it, that is a, it's a very important mission because these are the people who actually built the community that we're enjoying today. They laid the foundations, they provided all the services to us, and now it's our turn to make sure that they are comfortable as they get towards the, I wouldn't say end of life, but as, as they're slowing down. We want to provide the services and make sure that they're able to stay in their communities, the ones that they built. So um, I understand there, there are day services for um, families to um, where their loved ones can come and enjoy programs All like? All sorts of things. We have four uh, major programs that we do currently. Mm -hmm. The first is our oldest program, Little House, which is the Rosalind G. Morris Activity Center. This center was established well, years ago. We're celebrating our 65th anniversary this year. Um, we started out in a little house, which is how the name Little House came about, in Menlo Park, where older people would gather and just have a social network. It wasn't, you know, back then there was no Facebook uh, to build a social network. You right. did it the old fashioned way by showing up. Right. So that senior center has actually grown quite a bit. We're now on Middle Avenue in Menlo Park, and we provide classes and movies and all sorts of game-type uh, events. There's, of course, bingo on occasion, mm -hmm. but we also have regular card groups that meet. Mm -hmm. um, anything that you would want to do as a person, you can do there. And you provide meals and... Meals are available. We have a marvelous chef uh, who makes spectacular offerings every day for lunch. So it really is a great place to meet. That's one of our services. Mm -hmm. We also, you mentioned day services. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the Rosner House um, Adult Day Center. Mm -hmm. Now this is a center that is geared towards people who may need a little bit more assistance than at the standard senior center. Right. For example, if someone has dementia, and we need to make sure that they're not wandering off. If they have medical problems and need help um, with eating, we can help people and at the same time provide this wonderful activity center for them that also has the classes, the movies, the physical activities, mm -hmm. and the socialization that people, all of us need. So it really provides a great respite for them, but also for their families who may be their 24-hour caretakers. Right. So this allows the family members to work, go to school, or do the things that they're interested in doing while not neglecting their family members and right. ensuring their family members have friends of their own that they can be So do your members with. tend to come on a daily basis or once a week or twice a week or does it vary? It varies. Some once a week, some come five days a week. Standard is two to three days a week. And where, do, where are your families typically coming from? All over. Um, we have a wonderful transportation agreement, so there are bus services that can come oh, from terrific. as far away as, say, Mountain View mm -hmm. and bring people in. So we're able to provide the service, and it doesn't mean that, let's say your, your parent was one of our clients or our participants. You can put them on the bus. The bus takes them there. Make sure to, you know, watch out for them in the transition period. We get to the senior center they have all the activities available, good meals prepared for them, and at the end of the day, they get to go back home. This provides you the opportunity, as I said, to work for a living, which you may need to do, right. or care for your own children, etc., cetera, and, and keep moving on in, in a lifestyle that benefits you both. So you have Rosner House, you have the Day Center, mm -hmm. and then you also have two a, other programs. Right. Um, we, we are also uh, one of the providers for Meals on Wheels. We do South San Mateo County Meals mm -hmm. on Wheels programs. So we serve uh, thousands of meals mm -hmm. a year uh, to all sorts of homebound people, people who can't get out and do their own grocery shopping right. for whatever reason. Generally, it's a health reason mm -hmm. uh, that keeps them from being able to 
go on their own. Now the beauty of Meals on Wheels and Rosner House for that matter is that both of these programs help our elderly stay at home for as long as they can. They don't need to go into a nursing home. Right. If all you need is a meal, why not just bring in the meal? Why make someone change their entire life? Right. So we do that and then of course we also provide 82% uh, of the senior housing in Menlo, Menlo Park. Park. Yeah, low-income seniors. So that's a that's a fairly new program for um, Peninsula Volunteers, is it not? We've been around for, oh, a few dozen years, actually. Um, it isn't that, we were one of the first HUD grants, actually. Okay. Uh, and we, we created Partridge Kennedy, which is a smaller, um, very independent living center. And then we have Crane Place Apartments, also in Menlo Park, mm -hmm. which is more of a full service. There we have apartments and independent living, but also we provide uh, cafeteria services as well. So people can be on our uh, food program, they get regular meals, there's social events that happen there. It's more of, um, I don't know, almost a country club type atmosphere. Right. So how many lives would you say you're touching now, monthly, annually? Thousands. 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 It's, it's hard to imagine the number of people that need help in our community, and we sometimes we forget that. We think we're a very wealthy community right. here in the Bay Area. It's, it's so expensive to live, but it is so expensive to live that a lot of times people do have a hard time getting by. Right. And I think what I love so much about um, Peninsula Volunteers and the seniors that you're serving, um, there's less focus on sort of the economic driver as it mm -hmm. is the social driver. It Absolutely. is about um, enjoying life, um, being with your peers. Absolutely. Um, whatever you can to have access to your community so you're not shut in, you're right. not by yourself, right. your family isn't alone. It's exactly. to really sort of feel like it's you support. have right this, mm -hmm. this boundless end of resources, which right. I think is wonderful. And I, I think we should point out to our viewers that mm -hmm. um, you are a volunteer with the organization Absolutely. as your whole board and um, the folks that are yes. very active in the organization has a very robust group of passionate men and women who want to ensure that um, this is a thriving organization and growing. We're all hooked. Yeah, I, I would say that you are. I, I know quite a few um, of your board members in a minute, minute left. What's the mm -hmm. one thing that you want to make sure our community understands about P Peninsula Volunteers and, and the services you provide to seniors in our community? I think the biggest takeaway here is that the seniors in our community are our foundation. Mm -hmm. They are the people who made our lives possible as they are today. And I think it's a shame when those people as they get older, have to move out of an area. Mm -hmm. They built this area. They deserve to live here and Love enjoy that. it just like you and I do. And at Peninsula Volunteers, we help make that happen. Well, I invite our community to go visit any of the centers. They're actually a lot of fun. And as you said, the meals are great. Um, and it's a, it's a great program to view and to be a part of. So thank you, Colleen, so much for joining us on One on One. Thank and you, And thank Jim. all of you. We'll see you next time on One on One. <laughs>